All right, welcome to uh, Christmas winter stag deer painting. <laughs> so uh, this is different from what I normally do. Um, my studio is going through some huge changes in December, so I will not be able to do lives, but I can still have my lessons recorded for you guys and you can still paint okay it will be different it is different in a way that you cannot interact directly with me but you can still put your questions in the comments and i will do my best to be available and answer if you know to my best ability okay so without further ado <laughs> say hello don't forget to you know say hi let me know you're watching this definitely if uh once your painting is done and signed definitely put it in the group and um, share your finished painting i'm super excited to see it okay and so let's go through our paint colors and what we're gonna need um you could find everything in guides as per usual everything is posted in guides i, I still have access to my computer i will still Okay, so this is the, today is November 27, really. <laughs> so I'm recording or er, recording early. But yes, everything will be available as per usual. Okay, so let's talk paint. I'm going to use Prussian blue and um, a phthalo blue green shade. I will have white and gold here. And I think white gold blue, blue yes yes and that's it we're gonna use a flat we're gonna use a like a medium-sized flat brush nothing crazy medium-sized round brush again nothing crazy that's not that that's the one that i'm going to be using and i'm going to be using sponges okay i want you to know that um so i have my sponges sitting in the tub with water so that when it's time to paint, they're all plump and nice and soft, and they are ready to go. Okay, let's switch to my desk and desk view, and let's start. Let's see. I need to go here, and then I need to go here, and you have full view of what we're doing. So I'm painting on canvas board. I wanted to show you graphite paper. I get a lot of questions about what I use for my transfers. This is my favorite brand, graphite uh, transfer paper. I prefer it over the other one. What's it called? transfer black carbon i prefer this over carbon because carbon leaves smudges okay this is much better so if you have a chance i would just go ahead and, and grab something like this also if you tend to paint 16 by 20s a lot makes sense to check over here it shows you the size 18 by 24 this is perfect for transferring onto larger canvases, okay? Okay, let's put this over to the side. This is, I think this is old, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. This could be graphite paper, I'm not sure. Something, it'll work. So I'm just gonna transfer my stag directly onto my canvas, just like this. And I'm gonna line up this line with the line of my canvas. And there we go. And I really like to, I prefer to use felt pens for this because I apply a lot of pressure as I transfer. So felt pens allow me to go lighter. For some reason it works for me. So all I need to do is transfer the deer. Okay, and I'm showing you how I'm doing this because I get a lot of questions about transfers. So I figured this is really not that complicated, right? And it takes what, a couple of minutes. 
and we're done. And we have very light lines, just like I like them. Can you see it? Oh my gosh, it is so faint, you can't even see it. I will bring it up higher so you guys can see it. Okay, here. See, it's there. Very faint, but it's there. All right. So our first step is going to be the deer. Okay, we're going to paint him probably twice. But we're going to save so that our lines are saved. Um, I'm going to start with my Prussian blue. And I'm going to put a little bit of black right next to it. And then I'm going to use my flat brush, make it damp, take the moisture out onto the paper towel, and fill it up with Prussian blue and some black together. We want super dark blue. Okay, bring it to chisel tip. This is what I mean when I say chisel tip, okay? It's flat and closed. Okay, and fill in, fill in the deer. So this is gonna be, this is our first, first step. So as you see, I'm using my chisel tip to outline first. Just like that, see? Just use your chisel tip on your paintbrush. Um, where's my dear picture? Yes, there's another one. I made the lines so faint, I can't even see them. <laughs> okay, here. And then outline over here. Or another horn. So we're just going to outline this. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now, if you're not comfortable doing this with your flat brush, switch your brush, get something smaller, get something that's Comfortable. Don't feel like. Don't feel like you have to do exactly the same way as I do it. Okay. All right. So that's the tummy. That's another leg. And another leg. And another. Okay. So I have my outline, and now I'm just going to fill it in. And here's why we did this, because we're going to put a lot of color around him. And we want to be able to see him very well.
Okay, we have have the gear outline. Okay, now I'm gonna rinse my brush. And I forgot, I think I forgot to tell you that we need ultramarine. So yes, we do need ultramarine. It is in the guides, but I think I forgot to mention it right now as I was talking to you at the beginning. Okay, so I'm putting on the same paper plate, I'm putting ultramarine. Look, it's going to go directly where the snacks of Prussian blue and black is, okay? Right there. Okay? And then a little bit more, I'm going to add a little bit more of Prussian blue. Okay. The deer needs to dry so we don't smudge it completely. Okay, uh, Mark, keep the gun, noise, <laughs> fair warning, noise. So next step, we're going to grab the sponge. Any sponge you have will work. I've, I've used kitchen sponges for this before. I've used makeup sponges, um, artist sponges, whatever sponges you have, they will work. So right now I'm going to be working with my makeup sponges because that's what I have sitting out in the water so that they are plump and ready to go. Um, we're going to start at the top. We're going to put this dark blue on the top. And if you are working with, like my size, I think it's a 14 by 16. I think that's what I have. So I'm going to do about an inch, an inch and a half from the top, and then about an inch, inch and a half from the bottom. Okay. Sponge goes on to paint. Goes onto your canvas and you're going to start hatting it and you want an irregular irregular line probably if you have a rounded sponge this would be easier my sponge is rectangular and i haven't i didn't think about that fact i had a time this will work. And you want an irregular line. Okay, and now I'm going to repeat the same thing here at the bottom. Make sure you have some white left in between this irregular line and his tummy. Okay. If you would like to darken this up a little bit, you can add a little bit more black or a little bit more of um, uh, Prussian blue. I'm just gonna add a little bit more black to my sponge. Offload it on the plate so it's not too much and add some of this to the edge on the on the very top just to the edge and kind of work it in and around And I'm going to grab a little bit more and put some here on the bottom just to make it a little bit darker on the bottom and on the top. Okay. Keep working the sponge in so that you don't see any lines. You do not want to see any lines. You want it all to be blended in nicely and randomly. Okay. Now this sponge sits. 
We might need it again. We don't know yet. Okay, it sits, it waits. So the next one is going to be white and gold. We're going to put white and gold in the middle. So I'm going to start with white and then I'm going to add gold. That's not gold. This is gold here. And then I'm going to add gold to it. Okay. All right. Next sponge. Squeeze all the water out of it. You, you really do want to start with a damp sponge. You do not want to start with a dry sponge because damp sponge already will have water in it and it won't seep in so much paint. Okay. Let's grab some white onto that sponge. And let's create a circle. It's okay. We're going to go over his other uh, stag's horns a little bit. It's okay. We will come back and we'll fix that. Do a random, doesn't have to be a circle, kind of circular shape. Okay. Just make sure that you have white covering this area. Now let's grab some gold onto your sponge, the same sponge, and kind of create a donut like this. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. And now use the sponge to blend this in. So just keep blending it in and out. So maybe if you feel like you maybe want to add a little bit more gold to it, you definitely can. Just don't make it super gold, like gold in the outer circle, like make it maybe a little bit gold, more gold and then let it move around. Okay. Does this make sense? I hope it does. Work it in so there's no lines, so that there's no visible lines. Okay, now the sponge sits. And now we're going to grab phthalo blue green shade. You can also use cerulean blue for this. But I really like to use this one. And I'm going to grab another sponge. So we're going to use three sponges. Okay, I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to grab, I close it up on white first. Okay, and then I'm going to use white and fill in everything else that's left. And uh, it's okay, whatever I'm covering up is okay, because we'll come back. Okay, so don't worry about, about the stag, don't worry about it, it'll be fine. Just work around. It looks like I picked up some dark paint on my sponge, it's okay. Just keep working it in, if you did something like this, just keep working it in. Work it all and make it white. Okay. Okay. And so once you have white paint all over this place, now we can grab some of this Phthalo blue green shade and we're going to start blending it in. Keep patting, keep patting, don't. The point is 
to keep moving around. Okay, I went a little bit too far into this golden circle. That's okay. Okay, a little bit more on the sides. Okay, so just keep blending, blending, blending. So a lot of blending happening here. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to the top, all right? So I've kind of tried to blend this in. My arm's getting tired from all this blending. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and grab the sponge that I have left from, from the darker blue, and I'm gonna go back and add and blend it more. Okay, grab more of this lighter blue, blend more. Okay, don't like this, take it off. If it's getting too dark, just put it onto your paper towel and grab some more fresh color. Okay, and again, apply. Lots and lots and lots of blending, okay. This is very really hard for the camera to focus on. There is a lot, a lot going on, right? Super foggy. <laughs> okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna do the bottom also with the darker uh, blue color. I'm gonna add a little bit more ultramarine to my palette here. Hold on. There we go. Ultramarine. Taking the dark off. Okay, ultramarine. A little bit more. Pretty much just adding layers. Okay, just adding layers. Light hand, just start using light hand. Things will start to move a little bit better. Just blend them in. Lots of tapping, lots of pat patting. Okay, now I'm going to dry it so that I can apply next coat of color that will not blend in. Mm -hmm. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right. Okay, so first of all, another sponge. Okay, and more paper towels. Here we go. Okay, so grab some clean white. And work it around the sun or the moon, whatever it is that we think it is. Work it around. And blend it out and add some like weird, maybe not weird, but like random over here. Okay. Something rather. Just some white. And I want to put some more white in the center over here. Okay, that's good. That goes with white. Now let's grab the golden one. Here we go, still here. Blend it in the best you can. Into the white circle that's on the inside and all the way around. Just keep going. To make this kind of foggy, smudgy color. Okay? All right, let's grab a little bit more of the um, uh, Palo Blue green shade on the sponge. Okay, and maybe just randomly just add. Just work it in here and there. Okay, I uh, if you want like a little bit darker color or brighter color, we just grab a little bit more of of uh, this phthalo blue and just add some more of the phthalo blue. It's super hard to blend these thing in, this, these things in so that there is no edges, so that they're all kind of, you know, foggy, flowy. So it's super important not to push too hard onto your sponge. Okay. Kind of like this, all right. A little bit more of ultramarine to 
offset this so that it stays nice and foggy, a little bit of white. Don't rush with this. Do take your time. Okay. You can see my hand and it's not pixelated. It's fine. But like there's not many very de defined lines here. Okay. All right, so now uh, let me see. Okay, let's grab a liner brush or the red, uh, I mean, or the round brush. Let's grab a little bit of black paint excuse me not the black paint the black and like this where we have the black and the ultramarine and we also have a little bit of prussian blue on there not much left of that but that should be this should be enough i'm just spraying a little bit of water on there to make the paint a little bit flowy more flowy. <laughs> Is that even a word, flowy? I, I don't think so. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and fix the deer first. I need my outline so that I don't so that I don't put things in there that are not there. So if you want to add a little bit more of a little bit more of blue to your paint to paint your deer, you absolutely can.
But we're going to need to stop at the points, like stop painting the legs at the points where the bottom gets closer to them. Like here, here. Okay, so here's the thing. If you if you had put all of your uh, layers in, and now you cannot see the deer, which is also possible, right? Just transfer it again. Wait for your background to dry. Okay, and just reapply your transfer. That would have been an easier way. Just keep it coming. Probably switching to a flat brush at this point would have made sense. But I'm going to commit it to the round brush right now, so I'm just going to stay with it. Okay, our next step is going to be, we're going to paint the trees that are farther in the background. And for that, we're going to need our round brush again, and we'll need some white and some of this um, phthalo, phthalo blue green shade. So I'm just simply mixing it together into super light blue. Okay, clean my brush on the paper towel because my brush is a mess. Put some on your brush. And we're going to start where the blue meets the gold. And you're going to drag your brush upwards and you're going to twirl it between your fingers. Okay, hold it farther to the end. Okay, ready? And put it down and twirl it up. Get more paint, put it down to the same point. And here we go, we have our first three and we can maybe add a little bit color to it if we wanted to. Okay, here's another one, same way. And go back so that you have like a Y shape. Let's add a little bit more phthalo blue to this mix. Just a smidge, that's all we need, just a tiny, tiny bit. Yes, just a touch. Right here. Okay, some water, water on your sponges so it doesn't dry out. Okay, on your brush, let's add a couple more trees in the in the gold area with the same the same moving touch twirl. And one in the middle. Here we go. Okay. Now for the trees that are closer to us, we're going to add to the same mix that we're using right now. We're going to add a little bit of ultramarine. Ultramarine here. 
just grab some, put it in here, make a different shade. Okay, now this tree is going to start somewhere in the middle over here, but we're going to do it the same way we did the rest. Okay, so we're just going to drag, drag, then follow at first, and then drag off to the side, and then like somewhere here. Just behind the deer. Okay, and now we're going to add a little bit of Prussian blue to this. And now this, these trees are going to go all the way from the bottom. So I'm just kind of going to add one more over here. And so now I can go back and add a little bit more color to the branches and the, and the trees right here. All right. And as our last step, we're going to add dots, white dots. So we're done with the sponges. I'm just going to put them back into their bath so that one, they won't dry up, and two, they will be so much easier to clean in a couple of you know, when I'm ready to clean them. Okay. So now, let's get some white. Goes on the wrong side of your brush. So you just get kind of dots and you start adding dots. I must tell you, uh, it matters a lot as to which gold you're using. So I here am using um, old gold, I think the color is called. But I know that if you use, let's say, glorious gold, you will get so much more. color-wise. So, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, this will, this is in the guides also, I'm gonna mention that. All right, super fast, super easy. You can always add some more detail if you wanted to. But this is our Christmas stag painting. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it. I am looking forward to seeing your work and your art. Don't forget to share in the group. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.